150 years, and 31 Psi with a half-life of 2.62 hours. 44. All the remaining radioactive isotopes have half-lives that are less than 7 seconds, and the majority of these have half-lives that are less than 1 tenth of a second. 44. Silicon has one known nuclear isomer. 34 m psi, with a half-life less than 210 nanoseconds. 44. 32 psi undergoes low energy beta decay to 32 p and then stable 32 s. 31 psi may be produced by the neutron activation of natural silicon and is thus useful for quantitative analysis. It can be easily detected by its characteristic beta decay to stable 31p, in which the emitted electron carries up to 1.48 mV of energy. 27. The known isotopes of silicon range in mass number from 22 to 44. 44. The most common decay mode of isotopes with mass numbers lower than the three stable isotopes is inverse beta decay, primarily forming aluminium isotopes, 13 protons, as decay. Products. 44. The most common decay mode for the heavier are stable isotopes is beta decay, primarily forming phosphorus isotopes, 15 protons, as decay products. 44. Silicon can enter the oceans through groundwater and riverine transport. Large fluxes of groundwater input have an isotopic composition which is distinct from riverine silicon inputs. Isotopic variations in groundwater and riverine transports contribute to variations in oceanic 30 psi values. Currently, there are substantial differences in the isotopic values of deep water in the world's ocean basins. Between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, there is a deep water 30 psi gradient of greater than 0.3 parts per thousand. 30 C is most commonly associated with productivity in the oceans. 49. Chemistry and compounds. Cx and Psi X bond energies. Kj forward slash mol, 27, x equals ksif pobrio n and ltcx 36836043545333512932162 tilde 360 tilde 360-360-340-3935653813102344522322. Crystalline bulk silicon is rather inert but becomes more reactive at high temperatures. Like its neighbor aluminium, silicon forms a thin continuous surface layer of silicon dioxide, CO2, that protects the metal from oxidation. Thus silicon does not measurably react with the air below 900 degrees Celsius. But formation of the vitreous dioxide rapidly increases between 950 degrees Celsius and 1160 degrees Celsius and when 1400 degrees Celsius is reached, atmospheric nitrogen also reacts to give the nitride sin and psi 3 n 4 Silicon reacts with gaseous sulfur at 600 degrees Celsius and gaseous phosphorus at 1000 degrees Celsius. This oxide layer nevertheless does not prevent reaction with the halogens. Fluorine attacks silicon vigorously at room temperature. Chlorine does so at about 300 degrees Celsius, and bromine and iodine at about 500 degrees Celsius. Silicon does not react with most aqueous acids, but is oxidized and complexed by hydrofluoric acid mixtures containing either chlorine or nitric acid to form hexafluorosilicates. It readily dissolves in hot aqueous alkali to form silicates. 50. At high temperatures, silicon also reacts with alkalalides. This reaction may be catalyzed by copper to directly synthesize organosilicon chlorides as precursors to silicone polymers. Upon melting, silicon becomes extremely reactive, alloying with most metals to form silicides and reducing most metal oxides because the heat of formation of silicon dioxide is so large. In fact, molten silicon reacts virtually with every known kind of crucible material, excepting its own oxide, CO2, 
13. This happens due to silicon high binding forces for the light elements and to its shy dissolving power for most elements. 51. 13. As a result, containers for liquid silicon must be made of refractory, unreactive materials such as zirconium dioxide or group 4, 5, and 6 borides. 42. 52. Tetrahedral coordination is a major structural motif in silicon chemistry just as it is for carbon chemistry. However, the 3P subshell is rather more diffuse than the 2P subshell and does not hybridize so well with the 3S subshell. As a result, the chemistry of silicon and its heavier congeners shows significant difference from that of carbon. 53, and thus octahedral coordination is also significant. 42, for example, the electronegativity of silicon, 1.90, is much less than that of carbon, 2.55, because the valence electrons of silicon are further from the nucleus than those of carbon and hence experience smaller electrostatic forces of attraction from the nucleus. The poor overlap of 3p orbitals also results in a much lower tendency toward catenation, formation of psi psi bonds, for silicon than for carbon, due to the concomitant weakening of the psi psi bond compared to the cc bond sad smiley 54. The average psi psi bond energy is approximately 226 kJ forward slash mol compared to a value of 356 kJ forward slash mol for the cc bond. 55. This results in multiply bonded silicon compounds generally being much less stable than their carbon counterparts, an example of the double bond rule. On the other hand, the presence of radial nodes in the 3p orbitals of silicon suggests the possibility of hypervalence, as seen in 5 and 6 coordinate derivatives of silicon such as 6, 5 and psi f2, 6. 56, 54. Lastly, because of the increasing energy gap between the valence s and p orbitals as the group i descended, the divalent state grows in importance from carbon to lead so that a few unstable divalent compounds are known for silicon. This lowering of the main oxidation state, in tandem with increasing atomic radii, results in an increase of metallic character down the group. Silicon already shows some incipient metallic behavior, particularly in the behavior of its oxide compounds and its reaction with acids as well as bases, though this takes some effort and is hence often referred to as a metalloid rather than a non-metal dot. 54. However, metallicity does not become clear in group 14 until germanium and dominant until tin, with the growing importance of the lower plus 2 oxidation state. 14. Silicon shows clear differences from carbon. For example, organic chemistry has very few analogies with silicon chemistry. While silicate minerals have a structural complexity unseen in oxycarbons. 57. Silicon tends to resemble germanium far more than it does carbon, and this resemblance is enhanced by the d-block contraction, resulting in the size of the germanium atom being much closer to that of the silicon atom than periodic trends would predict. 58. Nevertheless, there are still some differences because of the growing importance of the Devalent state in germanium compared to silicon, which result in germanium being significantly more metallic than silicon. Additionally, the lower GEO bond strength compared to the SIA bond strength results in the absence of German unpolymers that would be analogous to silicon epolymers. 55. Silicides. Phase diagram of the Fe SI system Many metal silicides are known. Most of which have formulae that cannot be planed through simple appeals to valence. Their bonding ranges from metallic to ionic and covalent. Some known stoichiometries are M6 psi, M5 psi, M4 psi, M15 psi 4, M3 psi, M5 psi 2, M2 psi, M5 psi 3, M3 psi 2, M psi, M2 psi 3, M psi 2, M psi 3, and M psi 6. They are structurally more similar to the boridists than the carbides, 
in keeping with the diagonal relationship between boron and silicon, although the larger size of silicon than boron means that exact structural analogies are few and far between. The heats of formation of the silicides are usually similar to those of borides and carbides of the same elements, but they usually melt at lower temperatures. 59. Silicides are known for all stable elements in groups 110 with the exception of beryllium, in particular, uranium and the transition metals of groups 410 show the widest range of stoichiometries. Except for copper, the metals in groups 1115 do not form zeolocytes. Instead, most form eutectic mixtures, although the heaviest post-transition metals mercury, thallium, lead, and bismuth are completely immiscible with liquid silicon. 42. Usually, Silicides are prepared by direct reaction of the elements. For example, the alkali metals and alkaline earth metals react with silicon or silicon oxide to give silicides. Nevertheless, even with these highly electropositive elements true silicon onions are not obtainable, and most of these compounds are semiconductors. For example, the alkali metal silicides, M plus, 4, Psi 4, 4, contain pyramidal tree coordinate silicon in the Psi 44 onion, isoelectronic with white phosphorus, P4.4260, metal rich silicides tend to have isolated silicon atoms, e.g. Cu5 Psi, with increasing silicon content, K10 increases, resulting in isolated clusters of 2, e.g. U3 Psi 2, or 4 silicon atoms, e.g. K plus, 4, Psi 4, at first, followed by chains, e.g. dot CASI, layers, e.g. CASI2, or three-dimensional networks of silicon atoms. Spanning space, e.g. THSI2, as the silicon content rises even higher. 42. The silicides of the group 1 and 2 metals usually are more reactive than the transition metal silicides. The latter usually do not react with aqueous reagents, except for hydrofluoric acid, however, they do react with much more aggressive reagents such as liquid potassium hydroxide, or gaseous fluorine or chlorine when red hot. The pre-transition metal silicides instead readily react with water and aqueous acids, usually producing hydrogen or silence at smiley 42. Na2 Psi plus 3H2 O Na2 Psi O3 plus 3H2 Mg2 Psi plus 2H2 So4 2 Mg So4 plus Psi H4 products often vary with the stoichiometry of the silicide reactant. For example, Ca2 Psi is polar and non-conducting and has the anti-PBCL2 structure with single isolated silicon atoms, and reacts with water to produce calcium hydroxide hydrated silicon dioxide, and hydrogen gas. CASI with its zigzag chains of silicon atoms instead reacts to give silence and polymeric CH2, while CASI2 with its puckered layers of silicon atoms does not react with water, but will react with dilute hydrochloric acid. The product is a yellow polymeric solid with stoichiometry CH2H2O. 42. Silence. Speculation on silicon hydride chemistry started in the 1830s, contemporary with the development of synthetic organic chemistry. Silen itself, as well as trichlorosilin, were first synthesized by Friedrich Wöhler and Heinrich Buff in 1857 by reacting aluminium silicon alloys with hydrochloric acid, and characterized as CH4 and Sickle 3 by Charles Friedel and Albert Leidenberg in 1867. Disillane, CH2H6, followed in 1902, when it was first made by Henry Moisson and Samuel Smiles by the protonolysis of magnesium silicides. Further investigation had to wait until 1916 because of the great reactivity and thermalistability of the silence. It was then that Alfred Stock began to study silicon hydrides in earnest with new greaseless vacuum techniques, as they were found as contaminants of his focus, the boron hydrides. The names silence and boranes are his. 
based on analogy with the alkanes. 27, 61, 62. The Moisson and Smilis method of preparation of silens and silen derivatives via protonolysis of metal silicides is still used although the yield is lowered by the hydrolysis of the products that occur simultaneously, so that the preferred route today is to treat substituted silens with hydride reducing agents such as lithium aluminium hydride in etheric solutions at low temperatures. Direct reaction of HX or RX with silicon possibly with a catalyst such as copper, is also a viable method of producing substituted silens. 27. The silens comprise a homologous series of silicon hydrides with a general formula of syn H2N plus 2. Few are all strong reducing agents. Unbranched and branched chains are known up to N equals 8, and the cycles psi 5H10 and psi 6H12 are also known. The first two, silen and disilane, are colorless gases, the heavier members of the series are volatile liquids. All silens are very reactive and catch fire or explode spontaneously in air. They become less thermally stable with room temperature, so that only silen is indefinitely stable at room temperature, although disilane does not decompose very quickly. Only 2.5% of example decomposes after the passage of 8 months. Dot 27. They decompose to form polymeric polysilicon hydride and hydrogen gas. 63, 64, as expected from the difference in atomic weight. The silens are less volatile than the corresponding alkanes and boranes, but more so than the corresponding germanes. You are much more reactive than the corresponding alkanes, because of the larger radius of silicon compared to carbon facilitating nucleophilic attack at the silicon, the greater polarity of the psi H bond compared to the CH bond, and the ability of silicon to expand its octet and hence form a ducts and lower the reaction's activation energy. 27. Silent pyrolysis gives polymeric species and finally elemental silicon and hydrogen. Indeed ultra pure silicon is commercially produced by the pyrolysis of silen. While the thermal decomposition of alkali starts by the breaking of ACH or CC bond and the formation of radical intermediates, polysilens decompose by eliminating silylen psi H2 or psi HR, as the activation energy of this process, tilde 210 kJ forward slash mol, is much less than the psi psi and psi H bond energies. While pure silens do not react with pure water or dilute acids, traces of alkali catalyze immediate hydrolysis to hydrated silicon dioxide. Yes, let's take a break. Power is uh, red, will be to split in one minute. We have to record with my camcorder, Canon camcorder. It's 11.30. I think I like to start upload this, but there's still like many pages left. And of course, I not understand all this, much of this I don't understand. I'm not uh, educated from university in uh, in chemistry, but I like to read it. So let's start to upload.